What's going on YouTube? Geosno right here. So in today's video we have more news about the A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2. Yes, we're talking about the Electra. So you probably remember that Coolstar announced that the Electra is mostly done for the A12 devices and there are only bug fixes and stability improvements at this point. However, today he posted this, quote, stop making these absurd ATAs. We are in no obligation to give any ATAs, nor we are required to rush anything. 12.1.2 has long been unsigned and the latest SCP is no longer compatible. There's literally no reason for us to rush a release, even if we have everything working. Now, Null Pixel, part of the Electra team and working, of course, on Cilio as well, posted, quote, to clarify, Coolstar had some valid concerns about burning zero days which we discussed together. Electra 12 will still be released. It's still going to support all devices supported by 12.x and he means 12.0 all the way up to iOS 12.1.2, not anything above that. There is no drama or childishness in here, it was a genuine concern over the future. Now Nullpixel has posted this after Coolstar posted on his Twitter some concerns about whether to release or not because he's basically going to use some zero day according to him and a zero day is basically an exploit or a technique technique that hasn't been used before in the public, so it's going to be the first time it's being published, and that can of course be patched by Apple. Now if he's really using any zero days, then that's a valid concern, since iOS 12.1.2 has long been unsigned, and yes, the latest SCP, which is the component behind the passcode, the touch ID, and decryption, encryption, and all that jazz on the iPhone, is not compatible, so you're not able to downgrade using the iOS 12.1.2. To SCP because there are apparently some problems on some models that would basically either bootloop your device or create issues with the passcode later. So yeah, he does have some valid concerns in here, especially since this is basically a very old version at this point. iOS 12.1.3 is newer, 12.1.4 is newer, 12.2 is newer, and iOS 12.3 is in beta currently. So if he is going to burn any zero days, he might wait for a newer version or for a new X exploit as he mentioned in some of his tweets that he deleted very quickly after he posted them. They might delay a little bit the Electra jailbreak, however, if they are really using zero days, that's a pretty valid concern, especially with Apple patching anything they can find. And if you take a look in here on this poll that Coolstar made, most of the people who are going to use the Electra 12 are using the A12 devices. But that's really not a huge category of people, not everybody is using the A12 devices, there are much more older devices in use than the A12 series. So yeah, there are valid concerns when it comes to burning zero days in a possible release. Now, as you probably know, Cilio is going to be integrated with this instead of the Cydia, so Electra doesn't contain Cydia at all, and Cilio posted, quote, expect Cilio 1.0 with apt 1.8 to be available in a few days for both iOS 11 and 12. Repo maintainers, make sure your repos support SHA-256 hashes. But yeah, at the end of the day, there might be some delays with the Electra 12, especially since they have valid concerns about basically publishing zero day for a version that has been long unsigned. Now, I'm not entirely sure what they're going to do, whether they're going to basically release it as it is and stuff like that, but I'm going to keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, so do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. I am Gia Snow, and till the next time, peace out.